Today, it'll be rainy, with a forecasted high of 6 and a low of 5. There is currently a wind warning in effect. But I want to go out. <sighs> morning super cool party people obviously it's not a beautiful day outside it's apparently a very rainy and windy day but my plan is to still go out and go to a coffee shop and write so I guess I need to plan accordingly for that my grandparents are also going to be here in like nine hours it's like 11 now it's just after 11 I'm the worst I set an alarm and I woke up just before the alarm and I was like nope nope <laughs> so I went back to sleep for like another hour uh, but it's because I keep staying up so late and I think that's a result of sleeping in so late so I just keep going t -t -t back a little bit more I don't know what I'm supposed to do when I have to work this weekend because <laughs> yeah it's gonna be a struggle anyway I should probably pack up a bag it's mostly packed I think I just need my laptop and put on some clothes, which I am definitely not mostly dressed, and then get out the door and go grab some lunch and then go to the coffee shop. I think I'm feeling pretty good. I was just like laying in bed. I was actually like thinking about book two. So that's good. Doesn't help me currently because I'm on book one, but like I'm excited for the story. I mean, I think book one is always going to be the hardest to write and to because there's just so much. It's building a world, it's building characters, and I, I hate exposition, so for me it's really a struggle. Um, but book two I feel gets way more exciting, and book three, and book four, and book five. <laughs> book one is exciting too, I like book one, I'm not saying that book one is crappy, it's just, it's world building. I love world building, like the actual act of world building, not so much the writing, the world I've built, whatever. Anyways, I'm gonna get dressed because otherwise I'm going to ramble here for a while and I will catch up with you probably when I'm heading out the door. All right, so yesterday I was like, oh, I need to find my GoPro for tomorrow because it was in my purse. So I pulled it out of my purse. Couldn't remember where I put it. So I just spent like the last 10 minutes trying to find it. And then I finally remembered that I plugged it into charge. So I have it now. And like it's small, so that's easy to lose. So I have it now, which means I can leave the house. It's like 20 to noon now, 20 to 12. Why do I say weird times like that? And I don't think it's actually presently raining. Hopefully not. I'm very bright colors today, but wow, I too many colors. Um, I always wonder who thought I was grown up enough to dress myself. And I'm gonna go out now, and I will catch up with you somewhere along the journey, probably. very wrong when I said I didn't think it was raining. It is very much raining. It's not like raining hard, which is nice. It is raining a lot, so I'm already drenched. Yay. Spent like an hour writing after I got lunch. I think I got quite a bit done, which is super exciting. It's still pouring. I had to stop at the store to get some chips for dinner. Um, and yeah, it's it's a wet one. I think I'm like 32% of the way through now though, so that's good. I only got through like 10 pages, but I had to write like two pages, so anyway, away we go to get more wet home again home again my hair like the tips i my hair is too long i couldn't get it to stay in the rain jacket or under the hood so the tips of my hair are drenched but that is fine it was funny like i really love this shirt because i just it's so bright and colorful and when i was out at the coffee shop i was the only person not wearing all black and i was like yeah i really stand out but yeah <laughs> so that was awesome um i'm home now obviously I'm just letting my light warm up. Where is it? There it is. Um, it's a slow 
warm up to the proper color. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, <laughs> so I'm doing that. I'm going to putter for a little bit, I think. And then by like 2.30 at the latest, I'm going to get back into my story. I just got through adding one of the continuity issues. I'm just looking at my notes here. Eh. Yeah, so I got one of the major ones done, which is awesome. And so I just have like two more to throw in and then I think continuity wise I fixed all the problems that I'm aware of. I'm sure there's other problems <laughs> but uh, <laughs> it's one of those things where you're probably not gonna find them but it's actually really funny because like when I edited it I didn't find a bunch of grammar issues then Pam edited and she found a bunch that I missed and then as I've been going through I've been finding a lot more like I was mentioning yesterday so no matter what there's always gonna be something there but I think this will fix all the continuity and just plot issues that I want to fix and then I think we're doing all right, so so that's a win, right? Um, room is, again, a bit of a mess. It's laundry mostly and bed. If my laundry is in the hamper or put away, and my bed is made, my room looks perfectly clean most of the time. Um, but I gotta make my bed because my grandma's coming and my grandma's like one of those people who always makes the bed and when we went to visit her in on like summer vacation we had to make our beds with hospital corners on the sheets and everything. That's why I don't use a sheet anymore. It's not actually, I just sleep under a duvet, but kind of why. <laughs> um, but I do know how to make hospital corners, so I mean, it's, it's a skill. <laughs> I'm rambling now, so I'm gonna shut up. Like I said, I'm going to putter for a bit, and then, um, yeah, I guess get to work. Hey, Google, set an alarm for 2.30, please. All right, your alarm's set for 2.30 p.m. That's really loud. <laughs> Alright, so I am making a fair bit of progress, but I've been sitting for a while, so my legs are just not a thing that I'm enjoying having right now. Um, I'm also just at the point where I'm about to fix another continuity, well, I wouldn't call it a continuity issue, it's just something that I realized would make sense to be in the story, so I'm uh, doing that right now, but I'm just going to come check in on Pykele, because we moved him down here because he's kind of loud in the middle of the night and, you know, we want my grandparents to be able to sleep. So I'm just checking on him because we're still trying to like figure out temperature in here and make sure he's fine, but he seems to be okay. You can tell he was running. He was also eating. He's definitely under there. I'm not gonna bug him. I'm prob probably already bugging him too much. But because my grandparents are coming, huh, my battery's gonna die. Abort, abort. <laughs> All right, so like I was saying, because my grandparents are coming, um, they're gonna be in the room upstairs, but, oh, the the garage light sometimes doesn't go on. Um, oh, it is so cold out here. Oh, so cold. Um, brain, hi brain, brain. <laughs> There's no um, end table in that bedroom right now, so I'm just gonna grab it from the garage for them. It's so cold out here. It's so dark in here. Um, it's just right under here, so let's get that going. All right, so I gave the nightstand a quick wipe down because, you know, it's been in the garage for a couple months. I could not carry it up <laughs> with while I was vlogging because it's not so much heavy, just super awkward. So it's up here now. I have a lamp, which does match my shirt. There it is. So we're just gonna put this on here, plug it in. I should see if I can find like a thing to increase the capacity here and bam. So now, this is a very blue wall. So now, uh, bed is made, room's pretty much good to go. I got rid of all the last of the stuff except for the Christmas stuff in the corner there. Uh, my grandma's already getting boxes delivered here because she was like, they won't get to me in time. Um, but yeah, darkness. Room is good. Yeah. I think we're doing all right. It would have been great if we could have got the dresser up for them for now, but we have D&D on Saturday night, so maybe we'll get it up then because I just, there's no surfaces in that room really other than the bed. And so that might be a bit of a problem. Even if we just get like a chair in there, that would be probably helpful. So now I'm gonna go get back into my story. It was nice to take a break because like I said, my legs were not happy with me, but we're, ooh, it's warm in here now. Um, I'm doing all right. I am, 
page 50, which means 82 more to go. It would have only been 80, but I've somehow added two extra pages. It's very rude of me. Um, but yeah, I think we're going all right. Like I said, I'm about to hit something here. Potentially my other two points, so I don't know that I'll really have to add more after this. So yeah, it's been a very productive day. I need to make my bed also before my grandparents show up. I mentioned that before. Need to remember to do that. <laughs> Could be a problem. So when we moved, uh, the hutch had some glass things in it and the shelves got broken. And so it's been like, uh, with the moving company to get them fixed. Ooh, it's dark. Um, <laughs> my sister-in-law just texted me and said they're in the backyard by the wood pile. Can I go get them? Is there a light out there? Is there a light in here? But <laughs> my first thought was there's a wood pile in the backyard. <sighs> Burr. All right, we are going outside. Honestly, Oh, there's a wood pile. It's not a very big wood pile. Oh, anyway, honestly, I don't think I've ever actually been outside in the backyard because why? All right, wood pile. Oh, that's looking promising. Can I do this? Ugh. Gentle, gentle. That would be the worst thing ever if I dropped these right. Uh, huh. eh. Okay. Da -da -da. All right, all three of them are here. That's promising. We can now finish finish putting the hutch stuff away. I'm so close to the camera. I'm sorry. Uh, because for the longest time, we've just been stuffing stuff on the dining room table. Because like. What else are we supposed to do? We didn't have the glass. So I'm gonna go bring it upstairs, put it somewhere safe, because I am not gonna be responsible for these. Um, and yeah, so that's exciting, which means one step closer to getting the house together, which is good because like I said, my grandparents are coming today. The lighting is really weird in here. Also, we have more family coming later and obviously we need to use the dining room table so we can't just hold things. Oh, did I ever show you the new dining room table? I'm sorry, I'm so close. There it is. Anyway, okay, these are going to go down very gently. Don't you fall. So there they are. Finally got them back. And now they can go back in the cabinet here. This is where they go. All good. Looks like we're still a bit of a mess in here, but I think a large part of that is the fact that the hutch is broken. <sighs> I just made... So I was saying they're writing and then <laughs> my grandma called. This is not the first time my grandma's called me today. <laughs> my grandma called me earlier like panicking. What do you get? What do I get your cousin? And then she just called me again. Do you think this is good? And I'm like, do I think what is good? Because she had texted me a picture, but like texted me and then immediately called me. So yeah, anyway. Where was I going? Oh, I was writing and I was being very productive and I got another part put in and I like had feels when I was putting this part in. Um, and it was, it was a good thing. So, now I am back in my room. I'm gonna get back on this. Still need to clean my room, but I asked my grandma to text me when she's leaving where they are so I know when to watch out for her. I'm a smarty. Um, but yeah, okay. Ugh, I'm glad that's done with. I did not want to break those. Okay, so I just text it because anytime I add something new I text it to Pam So I just text it or emailed the thing that I wrote to her. Yeah, I'm on page 51 So I haven't made a lot of progress or have I I don't know. I don't think I have um, But it was an important thing. So that is good. Anyway back to this I go. It's just after five now I feel like it's gonna be a long day. I have just been fielding calls and text messages from people everywhere today. I feel like a call center. It's like if it's not somebody calling me, oh crap, phone ringing, phone ringing. Hello? Okay, bye. See what I mean? That was my grandma. <laughs> text, phone call, text, phone call. <sighs> anyway, they're about to leave soon, so I got about an hour and a half, two hours before they get here. Which means it is time to make this bed and get this room in order. I've made some pretty good progress. I'm at page 60, 
of 132, so I'm just under halfway through, which is very exciting. And like I said, I think the rest of it's gonna go pretty smoothly. But yeah, so let's get crack in and uh, make, make the bed. Hey Google, play Christmas music. Sure, here's a Google Play music station called Smooth R&B Christmas. Interesting. Okay, so my room is back to its clean state, which is super exciting. Uh, we had dinner. I think we're about like T minus an hour ish until my grandparents get here. I just reached out to my mom and her boyfriend to be like, hey, can you come help us move the dresser? Because um, that'd be nice. Otherwise, we'll have to wait till like DD and get the boys to move it. But I did unbury it in the garage. So, I mean, baby steps, right? So, step one. Uh, I now think I'm just gonna sit down here for a little bit, see if I can hit the 50% mark, which is I think like six pages away. It's totally doable. We'll see if it's doable. <laughs> Whoa, my hair. Okay, my grandparents are here, which is super exciting. Spent a couple hours upstairs with them. Um, but in more exciting news, at least to me right now, is I just got to pull down three stick it notes from the wall, which is awesome. I mean, they're all three stick it notes that basically say the same thing, but it's still very exciting. Um, so that's good. I'm still going strong. I'm at chapter 20 which is exciting because I think there's 31 chapters in an epilogue. I should know this but it changed so yeah anyways I think I'm gonna try to get through another chapter tonight. We're closing in on chat on page 100. I'm at page 78 so that's awesome so I will check back in with you in a bit. I just need to pee really badly right now. I don't know why I picked up the camera. Alrighty, so I am 64% of the way through. I said I was just gonna do one more chapter, but then I got super into the story and I kept reading, which is not a bad thing. So I just um, got to the end of chapter 21, um, which is very exciting. Anyway, I've had such a productive day and I'm feeling so awesome. The end is in sight. It is math pages away. It's less than 50 pages away, so that's pretty exciting. Um, hopefully I can power through that tomorrow. I know my grandma wants me to go shopping with her to get some stuff for a bit, but, you know, we can get it done. And then, ah, query letter. Future, future Tiffany's problem. It's still a very productive day. So with that, it is 12.30 at night. So I'm going to say thank you for coming along on today's adventure, and I'll see you tomorrow when we do very similar things. Good night.